Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Heather. Today I'm so excited to be filming yet again this year in front of my Christmas tree. So happy December everyone. It is officially Christmas season and that means I had to go pick up a peppermint hot chocolate from Starbucks before I started filming this video because I'm super, super excited about this collab. I couldn't even tell you how long I've been waiting for this day. So several months ago, I sent a message over in our book chat over in on Instagram. So we have a Disney book chat over there where we're kind of talking about books amongst us Disney YouTubers. And it sparked the idea to create a Disney book swap or just a book swap in general. So many wonderful friends agreed to participate and I'm so excited. I have my box right here and I cannot wait to get into it. But first, let me share with you the list of wonderful people who are in this collab. And when you are done here, make sure you are going to the description where I will have the entire playlist so you can check every single person out. Um, just have a wonderful day, cozying up the blanket and checking out what everyone said each other. The first person in this group is Nicole from Irresistible Magic. We have Kaylee from Fantastic Fandoms, Holly from Holly Ever After, Lindsay from Lindsay B, Robin from Oh Hello Robin, Beth from the Collectioneers Club, Rochelle and your favorite Donna from the Daunties, Abby from the Disney Sisters, Dana the Mouse Diva, Nina from Wrestling with Disney, or and or wrestling with books. I'm not sure which channel she's going to be uploading this up or if she's going to be uploading it on both channels. So I will have both of those listed below just to make sure. Last but certainly not least is Lydia from Vintage Nectarines. This group of human beings is absolutely incredible. So I appreciate every single one of you wanting to participate and I cannot wait to check out your videos. I know that all of us were super hyped about this swap. So of course, I wanted to thank all of you for participating and, and wanting to share in this day with me. Receiving this box was super, super cute because it says someone loves you on it and it says send a friend. This is so cute and you can see on this side, a very bookish Christmas. So I picked that name because I have an obsession with a very Brady Christmas. So why not call it a very bookish Christmas? I mean, why not? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and open this box. <laughs> Obviously, I know who drew my name when I was. Yeah, if this is not for you, Mama, sit up. Obviously, I know who had me, and it is Abby from the Disney Sisters. So I'll go ahead and open this and pull off. Oh, how cute! Okay, so here is the inside, and I see a little card on top. So I'm gonna grab that. This is so pretty. Oh goodness. Look at this, you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? And then there's roses on the back. That is so pretty. That is gorgeous. Okay. I love it. Oh my goodness. The paper matches it. That's really pretty. And I love like, I don't know. It feels like there's a texture on the back. That's really cool. Heather, hello and Merry Christmas. I was so excited to get your name for this book swap. I hope you enjoy the books I picked out for you, plus one bonus because I had two. You're so sweet. I love you dearly, my friend. Have a blessed holiday season, Abby from the Disney Sisters. This is the sweetest note, and I love, absolutely love this paper and envelope. I can put this in my cute little box later. Super cute. Okay, I don't know. Okay, so there's some princess wrapped things and then like some snowflake wrapped things. Ooh, I see a Disney Parks bag. So let's go with that first. I don't know if, if whatever's in here is wrapped or not, but I see the other things wrapped. And when you see a Disney bag, you kind of have to go for that, right? So, let's see. Oh, I love that. I love it. I love it. Oh my goodness. You know, if I hadn't just done my makeup, I would totally go put this on and open the box wearing it. Since I'm wearing, you know, my tail is old as time shirt and my bell ears. I mean, I kind of had to, right? I wanted to wear Christmas stuff, but I felt like I had to wear Beauty and the Beast stuff. I don't know. Anyway, what she has sent for me is this really cute bell face mask, Enchanted Rose. That is going to be so cute. 
It is, oh, it has rose water, which is calming on the face for healthy, glowing, smooth skin. Oh, I need that. I need that in my life because my skin is a hot mess right now as we're going into the winter season. I'm all about a face mask, so thank you so much for adding this. This is so cute. Is this the one that has like the face? Oh, this is really cute. Okay, so it's pink and it's got some little rose details on there. I thought it was one of those like creepy ones like I had with um, Cruella de Vil and it was so creepy. It looked really nothing like her, but I think these are so funny. Like the character faces are so funny. So that's why I thought it would have been funny to wear this the whole time. But I'm excited to use it. I'll probably be doing that later tonight. Okay, let's see. There's so many things in here. I feel like, okay, so there was a criteria in the beginning and I can't remember what it was. I feel like it was a book from the person's wish list, a book that you recommend, a bookmark, a bookish item and a cozy item. Is that right? I don't remember. I think that's kind of what it was loosely. <laughs> so we will see in here what, what the deal is. Okay, so I'm pulling this box out first, beautifully wrapped with some blue and white snowflakes and some silver snowflakes and a pretty sticker that says joy. So I'm excited. This is really cute. Tis the season. Hmm. I don't know what this could be. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm having a little geeking out moment here. What in the world? Okay. So Abby has ordered me a three piece candle set from the company from the page. Um, so I will link their shop or website below and then oh my gosh I can't see so one says late night reading and it's lavender vanilla and then another one is bookshop dweller sandalwood vanilla and violet and then what in the world does that say I can't even see I'm sorry it's like the the font of it yeah, okay, well, I am not going to try to pronounce what this says, but it says um, the definition is a person who reads in bed. I didn't know we had an official name, but anyway, I'll put it up close or I'll put it on the screen. Um, I feel like that just, did that just go blurry for a second? Um, anyway, anyway, that's so cute. This is cotton rainwater. Oh, this is the one I just smelled. It smells so good. It definitely has that like clean, fresh scent. So if you've ever smelled like a clean linen candle, this is what that smells like. That smells so good. It smells like fresh laundry with that very crisp smell. Oh my gosh, I'm excited for these. I don't think I've ever heard of this candle company before. But now I wanna go look and see what else they have. This is late night reading lavender vanilla. Oh my gosh, this is everything wonderful. I always smell the lids because I feel like you get a truer smell with that. Man. This smells so good. I smell the lavender and I smell the vanilla, but it also has like this sweet tart smell to it in the best way possible but not overly sweet. Oh my gosh. Girl, I'm so excited about this. And then the last one is Bookshop Dweller, Sandalwood Vanilla and Violet. This one is a little bit more earthy because of the sandalwood and it smells so good. I feel like this is a very good winter candle and this one has like a burgundy-ish color very like coming out of Christmas going into January smell. Man, this is so good. So I feel like this will be the first one I use right after Christmas. And then I will go into the late night reading, which is the lavender vanilla. And then um, 
I'll switch it to this one, the um, cotton and rainwater for like spring going into summer. I have a feeling I'm gonna use these so fast, so I'm gonna have to order more. This was off to a fantastic start, Abby. Thank you so very much for these. I absolutely love them and cannot wait to smell them burning. So the next thing is also wrapped in this beautiful paper and then there's like a pretty little red bird up there so excited i'm curious to see what you picked for me that you love that's that's what i'm excited to see what you picked <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> i don't know what kind of sound that was but i'm so excited this is my first one. Okay, so you may or may not know this. If you've seen any of the Pajama Party Lives that we have done, Abby, Nina, and I have spoken about how much we absolutely love Murder, She Wrote. Guys, Abby has gifted me my very first Murder, She Wrote, Jessica Fletcher and Donald Bain, The Highland Fling Murders book. I have never seen one of these books like out in the wild. So I've never truly held one in my hands. I've seen them online, but seeing one like in my own hands is so incredible. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. I am, a, I'm trying so hard not to geek out right now. I don't want to get past the point of no return with it. So I'm just going to calm down and I'm going to love this forever. So thank you so much for that. Okay, we have one more item wrapped in the same paper. And this is a long item. So this might be the bookmark. I'm not sure. Pretty little sticker. This says Merry and Bright. I think this is the first time I've ever that... Abby and Hope have ever gifted to us via a swap, if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> These are so, so cute. I absolutely love magnetic bookmarks and these are so cute. Okay, I gotta calm down. These are forest friends and there's a fox and a bookworm with glasses. Oh my gosh and a squirrel and a bunny and an owl and I don't know what you are. Are you a squirrel too? Yes, I think. Pretty sure. But anyway, let me show you how cute these are. Oh, the back of this is cute too. So the back of it has this cute little beehive on it. Here is the front. So here's that cute fox. Look at the bookworm. I can't with it. Something that would be so gross looks so dang cute. Just slap a pair of glasses on it and put it on a stack of books and it's all good. So adorable. And then here are the next two. And then here are the two on the bottom. I love the um, the pattern that is with them as well. It's really cute and there's like a little ink well. Sorry for the glare. That is so stinking cute. But yeah, I just, in the past year, year and a half, I've fallen in love with magnetic bookmarks and I use all kinds, honestly, but those just really stay put and I really do enjoy them. I use them in my planner. I think the first person who gifted me one was Karen from Karen's USA Adventure. When we did the planner swaps, she had given me one and I was kind of hooked then. And then I found a set with the Golden Girls on them and I've been really loving them. So I love these. These are much um, longer than my Golden Girls one. So I think these will work out a lot better. Okay, there are two more things to open. Here they are. I feel like we've already exceeded what we've said to get. Look how pretty this paper is, you guys. So all of the princesses are in their winter attire. Look at that, isn't that so beautiful? There's Ariel on this side. This is really gorgeous. So, okay. So this must be your favorite, your recommendation. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I just love you. I love you. I love you. Wow, girl. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. 
Okay, also in book chats, I have revealed that I've never, never read the Chronicles of Narnia. So of course, Abby has sent me the first book in the series, The Magician's Nephew, to get me started on my journey of the Narnia series. And what's funny is I did look a while back to get the complete set, but it was going pretty expensive and I haven't made it to my used bookstore to find them. So this is really, really pretty. I love it. I love that there are illustrations inside. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous book. And it says this is a full color collector's edition. Well, honey, you didn't have, you didn't have to send this. This is absolutely beautiful. I already feel like this is going to be incredible just by holding it in my hands. Do you ever hold a book and you think this feels great? This is one of them. I haven't felt that in a long time by picking up a book. So I'm really excited to see why you love it so much. And I'm sure that I will love it too. Um, I feel like this book is going to come to life with all of these gorgeous illustrations inside. This might be something I would be interested in reading to Michaela. Um, even if I read a few pages at night and then read something that she was really interested in. I cannot wait to sit down and read this. Thank you so much, Abby. <sighs> so, so excited. We are down to the last package and it says lost in a good book. There's more of that gorgeous princess wrapping paper, which I absolutely love. Okay. I apologize for the dog snoring. I'm filming back out here now, so that's what happens. <laughs> okay. What is this? Whoa. No way. This is so awesome. I am a huge, huge fan of Terry Blackstock. I have never read this book though. So I read three, uh, well, it was a trilogy of Terry Blackstock. It was If I Stay, If I Live, If I Run or something like that. It was kind of like a thriller mystery type series, um, but they also spoke about God in there and there was talk about prayer and how we depend on God and things like that. But there was still that thrilling aspect that I truly, truly enjoy. So I didn't have to compromise my values um, and hear things that were not necessary, I guess, um, to enjoy the type of book that I really do love to read. So I did not know this existed. And, oh, this came out in 2002. So this was pre what I read. This is going to be really awesome to see some of her first work. The Cape Refuge, book one by Terry Blackstock. So I'm really excited. Okay, so you've given me two wonderful things to start out the new year. Book one and book one. And um, this book also feels really good. So I'm super, super excited to get into this. I appreciate you picking this out for me. Um, I think that we have talked about Terry before. Um, so I'm so excited. I'm so grateful for everything that you picked out for me. I mean, one of my favorite authors. I'm happy to get on the bandwagon and find out why you love this so much. And then another favorite, oh my gosh, the candles, the bookmark set. I mean, you totally, totally spoiled me today. I'm so excited to have some happy new reading for the upcoming new year. And even just looking at these together, it's like they, they all were meant to go together with this fall color scheme. And when I'm actually filming this, it is not even Thanksgiving yet. So this is giving me all the fall vibes. And I just want to quit what I'm reading right now and jump into these. So these are really, really cool. I cannot wait to um, eventually purchase all of the Narnia series and have that in my collection. So thank you for starting that collection for me. Thank you for finding something and in an author that I really, really love, but didn't know existed. And then of course, ah, girl, you totally won my heart today. Thank you so much um, for taking the time to pick these out for me and send this to me. It was such a beautiful box and I appreciate every single thing. I'm going to enjoy those candles so much and the bookmarks and um, pamper myself with the face mask and try to figure out what I want to read first. So thank you so much, Abby, and thank you to everyone participating. I can't wait to see what is in everyone's boxes. And thank you all for watching and spending a little time with us today. 
make sure you are subscribing before you leave today so you don't miss out on any fun coming up in the near future and make sure you are checking out the description box to check out everyone's videos like and subscribe to them as well and i hope you guys are having a wonderful blessed day and i will talk to you guys next time bye